I am mid-pack getting ready to go to NAB. I'm flying out in the morning and I've just seen the news that there is a new Blackmagic Pixis out and that is going to have the 12K Ursa Cine sensor in it. Now it isn't out-out, it is just out on the signs around NAB. This often happens because when when they're preparing NAB, there's obviously a lot to do and it's a very big place and the signage has to go up and we have in the past seen leaks, if you like, in this uh, same way where you get a little preview of the camera and the sign says a little bit about some of the specs and all of those other things on there. So what we know at the moment is that it is a Pixis body. It is getting a Ursa 12K sensor in there or a 12K sensor, we're assuming, I think, based on the signage that it's the Ursa sensor that's going into it. Now that is astonishing news because that means that a Pixis body is going to get essentially 16 stops of dynamic range. It's going to get all of the other goodness that goes with that 12K sensor. Whether or not we get the full complement of specs has yet to be seen. I will be in Las Vegas uh, this time tomorrow actually, so as soon as I know more about this, I will be able to update people and if I manage to get my hands on something, I'll be able to update people on that and tell them what it looks like and all the rest of it. It feels like perhaps there's uh, going to be some kind of internal ND system on this and that probably implies that we're not sticking on L mount. It feels more like, based on the imagery there, that uh, maybe this is a PL mount and it has the uh, internal NDs in there in that way. But this is all yet to be confirmed. Exciting times, and Blackmagic have kind of done it again. They have stolen the conversation before NAB even starts with this crazy news that now Pixis body gets the Ursa 12K sensor. Uh, everyone was wondering what the response was going to be because a lot of other companies have come out with things over the past year. Red have been acquired by Nikon. They're shifting over from being RF mount to being Z mount, Z mount, however you want to say it. And then part and parcel of that was dropping the price of the original Komodo right down so that it is basically the same price as the Pixis currently is. Now we have a different conversation where we get this 12K sensor in there and that is in the Pixis body. The price point, yet to be seen, and how that actually works in the Pixis body, again, yet to be seen, but it's exciting, and I'm interested to hear what Blackmagic have to say about this and what the trajectory is for things now, because when we look at other cameras that have essentially done a cut-down version, like um, if you think about Ari with the Alexas and the Alexa Mini, that was a response to get a smaller camera package to be able to use, and then people just started using it for everything. Here, obviously the Pixis is a camera system in its own right, and people have been using it because it's at a certain price point, and maybe because it's a certain size, but I would say it's more that it fits at their price point. It's very different from the Arri example, because uh, here we're saying, well, now we're taking that great sense and bring it down to this camera, is that going to uh, mean that the original Pixis is uh, out the door? Is the original Pixis gonna stay in the lineup and then get a price drop? Could happen. Are we going to see other iterations of camera sensor in this body? You know, Are we expecting now that this body is going to become a receptacle for lots of different sensor variants and it's actually going to become its own fully featured system? And maybe, maybe there'll be a Super 35 variant that has crazy high frame rates in the future. Apologies for the kind of impromptu phone shot just here. Just got a quick strip light set up there. I'm literally in the middle of packing everything. So yeah, I've kind of got to stop doing this video. So yeah, drop your theories down below as to what the price point's going to be for this new Pixis and what's going to happen to the current 6K Pixis within this lineup. And yeah, I'll update you when I've got some more news.